The Galactic Victory Press update. A planet-wide portal has opened. Yeehaw! Greetings, love beings. The intensity of the 9-9 portal we went through has simply been amazing. Miracles of joy are manifesting, and many are experiencing and feeling the excitement in the air. A planet-wide portal has opened, and this is now pouring energy into the collective consciousness, assisting in multidimensional ways. This is triggering more into awakening. This will also lift the planetary vibrational frequency, increasing the synchronistic events for those in the oneness energy, and for those clinging to the old, it will become increasingly uncomfortable. Those ready for the ascension just got a big boost up. From Montague Keene, when people come together in love, everything is possible. It is time to say goodbye to the past. The future is ours. End of quote. With these current energies, we also have had, have had the anniversary of an event in which brought humanity to their knees and brought them to zero point. I can recall my experience on this date with my spiritual guide and also boss at the time. He turned to me as we were watching this event unfolding on TV and said, humanity just went to zero point. In the 11 years following this, I got to have a personal experience of what he meant. Humanity was ready to awaken and there was a mission at hand. 11 years ago, the Illuminati minions attempted to pull a fast one on humanity by destroying the records which revealed all their plans and many secrets. All these records they tried to destroy were picked up by the Galactic Federation of Light prior to its blown up. <clears throat> the truth is being kept safe. All records will be released when our craft can safely decloak. This energy of zero, zero, zero point in those moments on Earth has been tr transformed into light and is being utilized in these moments for the highest outcome for all of humanity. Quoted from Sheldon Nidal. At present, a number of spectacular events are happening around your globe. They herald the great change that is preparing to manifest. Humanity is awakening from its long slumber and is no longer inclined to allow its earthly masters to di dictate which path to follow. The time has come for a clean sweep, leading to a wholly new paradigm, which can supply real solutions to age-old problems. But above all, it must be a time when universal sovereignty becomes a living, breathing reality that is honored and safeguarded by every nation on this planet. Eleven years ago, the Dark Cabal staked the second part of its coup d'etat, whose opening salvo was the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. This coup succeeded beyond all expectations, reducing the world to a point where it became possible to order and control all, all manifested events. This easy setup changed abruptly when the Anunnaki and their dark overlords downed their weapons and came to the table with the Galactic Federation in the truce of, truce of Ankara. Suddenly, the Earth minions were set adrift without the firm guidance which they had come to rely on heavily, and their subsequent actions reflected the lack of this leadership. The result was a more crudely prepared series of events. Happily, we are now benefiting from the Dark Cabal's unsophisticated modus operandi, as it is this very in ineptitude. Coupled with heaven's steady increase of humanity's consciousness, this has created predicaments that are to push the cabal from power. Now, the cabal is out of options, and all which remains is for it to let go of its relentless grip on the global affairs and accede to the demands of heaven for its immediate surrender. Each, go of each government will undergo a number of critical days. Governments will resign under the pressure. New caretaker regimes will be put in place and the global upheaval will help bring on the proclamation of NASRA in North America. In short, the multiple objectives of our Earth allies will be realized as all these changing regimes will allow a global version of NASRA to come into being. This will be followed by the formal announcements. These are the statements that make your new reality possible. The light can then trump what the dark cabal set in motion in the mid-1960s with the Kennedy assassination. The truth of many things will be brought forth, 
including the odd events of the 2000 U.S. presidential election and the destruction of the New, York, New York's World Trade Center and the attack on the Pentagon. One of the goals was the two illegal wars waged to continue U.S. control over the increasingly corrupt, corrupt global financial system. All these crimes are to be adjudicated when the War Crimes Tribunal shortly begins its special sessions. Gaia is in the midst of great changes, and we have asked her to slow down temporarily the pace of her surface changes. She dearly wishes to reorder her reality and reunite her surface and interior realms. She knows what we are doing and sincerely asks us to accelerate the momentous operation of transforming her surface peoples. This is what we are doing. Our many adherents are busy working to put into play a new society for each and every one of you. And this is getting to the point where a series of actions are to force massive change. The key to these actions lies in the East with Huan Yin and a celestial helper and with Count Saint Germain and other ascended masters in the West. Their conjoined activities are being co coordinated by liaisons assigned to us by the Galactic Federation's first contact team. The moment has arrived for a new reality. It is also time for you to end the veil of ignorance that envelops you and for you to learn that you are not alone. A great entourage of beings, both ethereal and physical, has come to assist you in full consciousness. End of quote. The one timeline all of humanity entered into on the June solstice is being infused with high amounts of divine intelligence, light information. These current energies are the very energies in which are lifting the planet up in vibrational frequency to meet our craft halfway. In fact, in this past week, our UFO sightings and awareness has increased. Quoted from Nancy. Our galactic brothers and sisters are disclose, disclosing their presence with us. One of the ways in which they do so is to appear in the skies as a cloud. Cloud can be a variety of shapes, but will appear more solid and resemble one of the several types of starships. Beginning on September 9th of 2012, reports of saucer-like clouds filling the sky in all directions began to appear all over Facebook. These reports were from upstate New York, New York City, Maryland, and Virginia. I could feel <clears throat> their presence in the sky. A breakthrough for the light has been accomplished in which we will finally see the old swept away to be replaced with true love's true reality for humanity. Quoted from Cobra. The progress of light in the last few decades <clears throat> was such that we are just before the final breakthrough that will bring this reptilian empire to its knees. There was a very successful operation of the light forces completed on this planet <clears throat> on August 25th that sent a very clear signal to the leading Archon's minions that their defeat is near and undeniable. This has set them in panic mode, and inside the time window between August 25th and October 7th, that they are trying to do everything they can to stop the progress of light. This is their last chance to create as much division, confusion, and conflict between all people that are working towards the liberation of this planet as possible. During this time, fears about World War III and martial law will arise. Although the Cabal has plans to make those things happen, they will not be successful. Positive ET races in the resistant movement will want peace. And it is within their power to prevent World War III and martial law simply by pressuring the key members of the Cabal. Between September 15th and September 23rd, there will be the most critical period, as this is the exact time of the second Uranus Pluto square 2012, and the Archons, the Minions, will then try to provoke as much violence and conflict worldwide as possible. This Uranus Pluto square will be even stronger than the one in June, because its exact moment will happen just one day after Pluto turning direct. <clears throat> this is the Minions' last chance before the breakthrough of light. As it was said in my previous post about the Uranus square Pluto, here are instructions for that challenging time. Regardless of the events in the next few days, please remain calm but alert. In these intense energies, this means definite changes multidimensionally are underway. Decreed by heaven, 
the upgrade and vibrational frequencies on planet Earth equal heart is in process. This is a divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth equal heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission in all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the black three press staff, humanity's earth allies, the company of heaven, and the first contact ground routine.